this is Josh with Dirt Down Hard Adventures. We got a few requests for information about the Rhino Rack Sunseeker awning and also the Sunseeker mesh room that you can buy separately that attaches to it. So we're going to show you how to set it up with one person and also with two people. Definitely a lot easier with two people. And then also how to attach the mesh room to it. So we're going to go ahead and set this up with two people. First thing, we're going to go ahead and unzip this. Now you have two Velcros to hold it in place. So you undo these Velcros and now it's loose. So you got to go ahead and catch it because if not, it's going to want to roll out on you and just drop to the ground. Go ahead and roll it out. So with two people, it's best to have let the legs down. And not stand the legs up all the way. Just take the middle length down and then set it in the ground. And then at this point you can have one person hold, hold it in place while the other person goes under and undoes the poles for the sides. And these are all telescopic and they're labeled very well which way to turn it to tighten it or loosen it. So you slide these out and there's a hole in this track that it lines up with. And you twist it to tighten it. And then there's three Velcros that Velcro the top tarp to the, the hole. do the exact same thing on the other side. And at this point, you're free to raise the front legs as high or as low as you want them to be. And if it's a windy day, you have the loops, you can stake this down if you need to. On a calm day, you're good to go. That's it. That's it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put it away with two people, which is pretty easy also. Go ahead and undo your legs. Just give them a twist. There's actually instructions on the legs which way you turn it. And these legs just fold right back into that track. And again, usually it's easier to have one person hold it in the middle while the other person undoes does the side. Go the same way. You um, twist them, pop them out of the track, then they fold right back in underneath. Go ahead and roll it up by hand. And it 
tucks right in, and the Velcro straps hold in place. And then you can go ahead and zip the weather cover up. It's a little tricky, it's not like automatic awning, but it's not too difficult. So we'll go ahead and try it with just me and see how that goes. Okay, so again, we go ahead and unzip the weather cover. And flip it up. Undo the Velcro straps that hold it in place. Now you can go ahead and drop your your legs down. Usually with one person it's easier to just drop it one length rather than try and reach down and get the, the bottom one. On the other side. And if you tilt them on an angle and get them in place. You can hold it with one hand and reach back and grab your side pole. And slide it in place. So once you have one, it kind of makes it easier, it stabilizes. It, like even the other side kind of tends to stay in place. So you have one side, work your way to the other. Okay. So it's a little tricky, it's a little bit of maneuvering, but it's not that bad. One person can handle it. Velcro on the pole, on the pole. Now at this point it's pretty easy to get down to your bottom pole and adjust your height the way you want. Again, it's a little trickier, but it is possible. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down myself. I uh, usually find it easier to do the same drop it down a little bit lower, but still leave the legs up. And this way, you can reach all your Velcro to get them undone. like do all those first so that when you take one side off you're not trying to get over here and undo your velcro all you have to do is undo the pole and you just tip one side go ahead and undo it This point, 
easier to just hold this outer track because the thing is just going to want to like fall on you. They can, these are really easy to twist with one hand too. And there's even a little arrow on it showing you which way tight and which way it's loose so you're not figuring it out while you're holding the awning up. So for me it's easier at this point to keep hold of this and walk it in a little bit. while you fold that other pole in and then at this point you can just kind of walk outside of it it's not on top of you fold one side up at a time slide them back into the track now you're free to just be in the middle of it and Roll it up. And same deal, slide it up into the in between the Velcro strap to hold it in. And you just Velcro it. Keep it in place. And then zip your weather cover. So it's not the easiest in the world, uh, but if you have experience setting up a tent, it should be pretty simple. There's a lot of different accessories you can buy for these. If you look online, there's and type in Rhino Rack accessories. There's a whole bunch of different things. We uh, we chose to actually get this mesh room to give a screen on four sides just to keep bugs and things out. And it kind of gives us like an extra room so we could cook in there, or do things, and and have more space that we wouldn't have in the hiker trailer. So go ahead and show you how to install this. So this comes with a pretty nice storage sack. And go ahead and unroll it. So it has a zipper for all four sides. And it's kind of nice because the zipper basically lets you know you're in the middle of a side and these hooks directly above it actually go right into um into the track things unrolled it can be a little confusing which way to orient it so for us the, we found the easiest thing is to find the actual rhino rack label and next to it is a hook so we know that's the top then the next thing you want to look for you have these clips that are similar to like a dome tent. Some of them have a, um, are, are black and then the other ones are yellow. The yellow ones go across the horizontal pole. The black ones go down the vertical pole. So 
again, we find our Reiner Act label. Our, that, that's hooked next to us is our center hook for the front track. So if you go ahead and hook that, come down to your either side, and there's another hole to hook into. Hook it. Do the same on the right. And then, you know, you have these yellow ones that are going to go on this pole. So you can go ahead and take this hook and hook it on this inner track, which also has a, a little hole right here. You literally just hook it through the hole and you come around. Your other side. And do the exact same thing. And now this just works like a regular pen. You just clip right onto the poles. on the horizontal poles and then right down the vertical ones. Now, they leave you with a, an adjustable loop here so that you can actually go ahead and stake all this down. Same with on the sides, there's these little grommets that you can do the same thing. And, they, and you at least have the, the bottoms weatherproof, so you're not getting mud and things splashing up into the mesh screen. Okay, so you can see um, inside. Now there's there's zippers on on all four sides that you can open and close. Now we love this. We will say it is a little bit of a inconvenience getting in and out of the hiker at this point because your your one wall or your one screen basically goes against the hiker and it kind of droops over the fender um so it, it works great i mean it keeps bugs off it does what it's intended to do you know it wasn't actually designed to go with this camper it's really designed just to match up with the rhino rack awning which you can a lot of people put on the roof racks of their cars and things like that to have a sunshade. So you can't really knock the product for not lining up exactly flush with the camper. So it is a little bit of a challenge. You can see how it droops in here. You have to unzip it. And then when you want to go in the camper, you almost kind of have to, to prop the screen up to get in. But for us, the advantage is far outweigh the disadvantages so having this extra room to cook in and uh and use really works out great for us
if you've been at a campsite where it was raining and you have to leave to go to another location and your awning is wet and you have to put it away wet, as soon as you get to your next location, you're gonna wanna undo all of this and set it up so your awning can dry. You don't want it to get mildewy and moldy if it's stuck in there wet. So please make sure to remember if you put it away damp, you wanna dry it out as soon as possible.